open up FTP on your console. There we go. And you need these plugins. Um, FTP colon colon slash slash one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot eight colon one three three seven. Um, God, I'm terrible at typing. Um, you look so. Pie. You can also use um the what's it called. You can also use the. You can also use auto plugin if you want. Size slash make PSM great again. Slash v one point three dot skpox. You look so tie slash no mp drm dot skpox. You actually don't need no mp drm if you have these Jeff the developer apps um legitimately on your account. Um, but if you don't, then you're gonna need it in order to run them. And then, of course, you exo tie slash we food. You do need that. You always need that because they're evoked in food. Okay. And then you copy that back. If you already have those plugins, don't bother with installing them again. It won't do much. And this is an update. It's always worth updating. Uh, and then copy all this over. Okay, and then you put the keys file in your little tie keys up and I have it there, but I'm just gonna overwrite. Alright. There we go. And now back on the console. Okay, so now I'm just gonna reboot and go, got ourselves a nice PS logo. Out the stupid morning. And now I'm forced away. And we run Hencore. There we go. Now, you need to install the PSM dev apps. Now, if you've had them before, you can just do this on the PS Store and go to your download list. However, I'm going to pretend I don't, because most people probably don't. So, I'm going to just do it from PKGJ, which you already forgot to mention, you also need a copy of the PSM dev app, which you can, the easiest way is just to get PKGJ, but you can also potentially find a dump of it, and the MPDM dump of it, and then install it through um, the UXO app, or just use MPS browser on PC. Uh, but yeah, so, search. And then you want to search, um, I find the searching dev works the best, so you type in dev, and then it's down here, PlayStation Mobile Development Assistant, and PlayStation Suite Development Assistant, so you want to go here, and install game, go back out. Go to here, install game then back out and now we just wait for the download to compute Okay, and now if you check your home screen, you should see two new bubbles, PS Suite Dev and PSM Unity Dev. Now, in theory, if you open these, they should work. See, you see it says can't confirm my developer license, it should confirm it for this one though. Anyway, um, what you want to do next is just update the applications. Alright, now that they're downloaded, you just tap the little install. 
Alright, and now you install this one too. Now if you run this one, it should actually find the license. As you can see it does, and so is this one. Um, I'd like to thank Darts TV, uh, Soespew, and Princess of Seeping for WeFood that makes it so. You don't need to use WePatch or anything, because it's one of these you can just stout them without messing with compatty packs. And it just works. So yeah, and of course make make PSM great again, that's the publishing license crap, so. Um, yeah, that's my video on how to get PSM Dev and PSM Unity on Hankaku firmwares. Just to make sure you guys know I'm not secret using 3.51 or something. Um, do system system information and 3.68. I hope you enjoyed this video, I guess. I'll probably do another one on the PSM SDK on PC. See ya.